King Charles faced an unexpected protest after conclusion of his speech in the Australian Parliament, Independent Senator Lydia Thorpe challenged the monarch's presence, demanding a treaty and calling for recognition of indigenous rights. Thorpe, an advocate for indigenous rights, accused the king of historical injustice and stealing Aboriginal <laughs> land. While in the day, Thorpe issued a statement calling for Australia to de become a republic and emphasize the need for a treaty with the indigenous people. She stated that certain issues need to be resolved before the country can become a republic. Last year, Australia held a referendum on recognizing indigenous people in the constitution. This highlighted the ongoing debate surrounding sovereignty and representation within Australian society. But ultimately, the effort did not succeed in granting that recognition. Australia was a British colony for more than 100 years, during which thousands of Aboriginal Australians were allegedly killed and communities were displaced. The country gained de facto independence in 1901, but never became a republic. King Charles serves as the current head of state. Charles is on a nine-day visit to Australia and Samoa, the first major foreign tour since his life-changing cancer diagnosis earlier this year. Let's now talk more about this. We are now being joined by our correspondent, Stuart Smith from London. Stuart, good to see you. We know that uh, Buckingham Palace may not react to what happened in Australia, but um, what's, what are Londoners saying about this event? Well, this is an important moment. It's the first visit to Australia by the reigning monarch in over a decade, and it's the first royal tour by King Charles since he was given that cancer diagnosis. There was some expectation that something might happen. There are many people in Australia who are vocal about their distaste for the monarchy. However, there are many more, it would seem, based on this visit, who are for that. There are uh, the way this played out earlier was that when God Save the King was played in the Australian Parliament, this indigenous senator uh, turned her back, Lydia Thorpe, and then made statements to the effect of, this is not your land, you are not my king, you committed genocide against our people, give our land back, give us what you stole from us, before she was escorted out. The treaty was one of her requests. She said, give us a treaty in relation to the fact that Australia's indigenous population never ceded their sovereignty to the Crown or to the Australian <laughs> government. And later she explained to British media that there are thousands of mass massacre sites in Australia from invasion, and she says someone needs to answer for it. Now, in 1999, Australia voted to keep the monarchy, and there is still an Australian monarchist league, which said it demanded Thorpe's resignation. Other senators said that her actions were disgraceful and disrespectful, mm -hmm. and one member, one senator of the Australian Parliament said that every Australian man, woman and child uh, should be upset with what she did. So now King Charles heads to uh, Samoa later in the week for the Commonwealth Heads of Government governments meetings, and what he's going to face there could be more uncertainty and more challenges because it's believed that some of the Caribbean states hope to bring up slavery reparations at that meeting all right we'll have to leave it there Stuart Smith from London thank you for all the latest news download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel